Okay, here's another video for my A-level electronics students. I'm just going to show you a subroutine that's going to be used to configure uh, port B, or rather Tris B, which controls the configuration of port B to set some inputs and outputs. So I'm going to call that subroutine here. It's quite nice to have uh, things packaged up in subroutine. So all of my initialization, I'm putting in a subroutine that's called init. And so let's just add a breakpoint here. So I just click there. Now I've got a breakpoint. I will then uh, run the simulation. Uh, the program's just halted there. I'll press F7. So I'm now entered into that subroutine. And so the first thing then we want to go to bank one. Well, why do we want to go to bank one? Well, let's have a quick look. Data sheet. You'll see that Tris B is in bank one. Now to configure whether the bits of port B are going to be input out, but we actually need to configure TRISB, the tri-state registers. So we need to get into bank one and somewhere around here, you'll see this thing. It says bank zero is selected by clearing the RP0 bit and setting the RP0 bit selects bank one. So we need to set RP0 to select bank one. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bit set file. So we're going to set the bit of the file, RP0 of the status file. And so status, if you look here, you're going to see one of these bits change in just a moment. So I'll press uh, uh, the, uh, 7 or 8 to just uh, continue execution to the next uh, step. And hopefully you now see, in fact, it changes red. When it changes, it changes the color to red. So now we've set another bit there. And then that's the RP0 bit. And then if we then press, uh, well, let's have a look, we'll see what this code's going to do. So move literal into the working register. So we're going to load a binary value, um, which is going to be four zeros and four ones. Now the four zeros represent outputs and the ones represent inputs. And we're going to load those into the working register. At the moment, the working register you can see there is all zeros. So if I now put some eight, uh, you'll see now we've got four zeros and four ones. And the next thing, then we're going to move the contents of the working register into the file TRISB. So if you look at TRISB at the moment, TRISB is currently set to be all inputs. And if I now uh, press F8, so uh, I've copied the working register into the file. So now the working register, which was um, four zeros, four ones, is now in TRISB, four zeros and then four ones. And so then we're then going to clear the RP0 bit of status. So let's have a look at status. It's that one's going to be cleared in just a second, which it is. And then we're going to return. And then it goes to the next line. OK, so now we've got... Um, Trisp, tri-state register B, to be set to four zeros and four ones, which means that the um, four most significant bits of port B are going to be used for output, and the four least significant bits of port B will be used for input. And that's it.